Malaysia-Qatar ties unaffected by the ongoing Gulf crisis. Rohingya exodus continues unabated. Good afternoon, I'm Cynthia Arthur. You're watching News on 2. The Yang Dipertuan Agong Sultan Muhammad V has expressed hope for more Malaysian companies to be given the opportunity to enhance Qatar's economy. His Majesty said this following the success of a Malaysian company in completing a new building project for Qatar's Ministry of Interior, which also serves as the Qatar Prime Minister's office. Sultan Mohammed V also expressed his appreciation for the confidence and opportunities accorded by the Emir of Qatar to Malaysian companies in various projects in Qatar, like in the service and construction sectors. The king was speaking at a state banquet at Istana Negara last night to fate the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim Mohammed Al Thani, who is on a two-day visit to the country. Sultan Mohammed V said the historic visit by the Emir of Qatar would open the gateway of cooperation in economy and trade based on values of trust and mutual respect between the two countries. Qatar is Malaysia's 40th largest trading partner with trade volume reaching 2.37 billion ringgit in 2016. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Tun Razak has stressed that Malaysia and Qatar have been enjoying good relationship for four decades and the current Gulf crisis would not affect the ties of both countries. Malaysia's economic ties with Qatar is based on the spirit of cooperation with the Muslim world. Dengan semua negara dan juga uh, kerjasama dalam konteks hubungan dengan dunia Islam. Uh, kita mengamalkan prinsip wasatiyah uh, dan kita juga mahu uh, petikaian sesama negara Islam uh, dicari penyelesaian yang sebaik-baiknya tanpa uh, kita mencampur tangan dalam urusan mana-mana negara. Dato Sri Najib told reporters after his meeting with Qatari Emir Sheikh Tamim Hamad Al Thani in Putrajaya yesterday. Also present were Special Functions Minister Dato Sri Hishamuddin Hussein and Foreign Minister Dato Sri Anifa Aman. Asked if Qatar had requested Malaysia to play a part in improving its ties with Saudi Arabia, Dato Sri Najib said it was beyond Malaysia's capacity to be the mediator. Malaysia also has a very special relationship with the Saudi government. It was reported in June Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates had cut diplomatic and trade ties with Qatar over the country's alleged support for terrorist groups and its relations with Iran. Deputy Prime Minister Dato Sri Dr. Ahmad Zaid Hamadi has announced that the National Security Council NSC will coordinate delivery of humanitarian assistance to Rohingya ethnic community currently in refugee camps in Bangladesh. Dr. Sri Dr. Ahmad Zayed said with NSC's aid coordination efforts, there was no issue of the assistance not reaching the beneficiaries. Saya tidak fikir uh, jika ada kekhawatiran derma-derma ini tidak sampai kepada matlamatnya. Dan sama-sama uh, saya juga ialah uh, General Tan Sri uh, Zulkifli uh, yang berada uh, dengan saya dan uh, beliau uh, akan mengkoordinasikan uh, dengan uh, pegawai MKN untuk menentukan bahawa semua bantuan akan sampai kepada uh, kumpulan sasarannya. Looking at the sad and pathetic conditions at the refugee camps in Cox's Bazar, Dr. Sri Dr. Ahmad Zahid urged Malaysians to continue giving donations, adding that with the coordination efforts, aid received could be streamlined to purchase essential goods. He said the government would also continue to encourage individuals, especially nurses, doctors and hospital aides, to register with NSC to take turns to assist at Cox Bazaar. On another note, Malaysia will build a field hospital at a cost of 3.5 million ringgit at a refugee camp housing the Rohingya ethnic community in Kutupalong, Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh. Datuk Sri Dr. Ahmad Zaid said the hospital will be built by the Armed Forces Military Corps and the Health Ministry. 
kita sedang uh, menunggu prosedur yang ditentukan oleh kerajaan Bangladesh untuk uh, membenarkan hospital itu dan kami telah pun mendapat kebenaran daripada Perdana Menteri Bangladesh sendiri uh, uh, Syekh Hasina dan uh, kelulusan ini telah diberikan kepada Pesuruhjaya Tinggi Bangladesh di Kuala Lumpur kepada saya uh, dan uh, Kerajaan Malaysia khususnya Angkatan Tentera Malaysia dan juga Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia telah memperoleh kebenaran itu dan uh, insyaAllah dalam tempoh sebulan uh, hospital Medan itu akan uh, Beroperasi sepenuhnya. 35 medical personnel, including doctors, nurses, and hospital assistants, will be stationed in hospital, which can accommodate about 50 patients. Malaysia was one of the first countries to send humanitarian aid for Rohingya refugees, especially in the Kutupalong camp. Commenting on the matter, Health Minister Dato Sri Dr. S. Subramaniam says Malaysia is ready to provide medical personnel and aid in Cox Bazar, adding that a complete list of experts and medical personnel involved in the mission has been obtained. The ministry is only waiting for an appropriate time to depart to the country. So, kita dah mengadakan uh, perbincangan dengan semua agensi yang berkaitan, termasuk angkutan tentera, dan mereka yang telah menunjukkan kesukarelawan untuk bersama di dalam pasukan itu nama-nama mereka kita dah ada dan so bila kita dah sedia untuk bergerak dan kita akan bergeraklah Good news for those who wish to travel back to their hometowns for Deepavali ETS tickets still available Vehicles of all classes using the Damansara Puchong LDP and Sprint Highways will enjoy toll discounts of 60 cents and 20 cents respectively in conjunction with the Deepavali celebration. The toll discounts, which will start from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. tomorrow, are expected to benefit more than 550,000 motorists. This was announced by Highway Concessioner Lingkaran Trans Kota Sundaran Berhad Litra, Chief Executive Officer Sazali Saidi, as part of its corporate social responsibility obligation. An estimated 410,000 LDP and 167,000 Sprint Highway users will benefit from the discount involving a total subsidy of 280,000 ringgit. Since 2010, the toll discounts for LDP, which involved a sum of 10.14 million ringgit, had benefited 12 million road users. Some 900,000 ringgit toll discounts were given to 4.5 million motorists using Sprint since then. Meanwhile, Kereta Api Tanah Melayu Berhad, KTMB, has invited those returning to their hometowns for the Deepavali celebration to use its electric train services, ETS, rather than braving festive season road traffic. Its chief executive officer, Mohamed Rani Hisham Samsudin, confirms that 41% of ETS tickets for the travel period between now and October 22nd are still available. For the intercity train service, 48% of tickets have been sold. Also in conjunction with Deepavali, the ETS has introduced a special menu for passengers until November 10th, which includes chicken biryani rice, nasi minya, alu gobi and masala ayam. Affin Group will enlarge its focus in the consumer banking segment as it sees immense business opportunities there despite it being a competitive environment. According to Affin Holdings CEO Kamarul Arifin Muhammad Jamil, the bank's current size and reorganization exercise, which also saw the transfer of the listing status from Affin Holdings to Affin Bank Berhad, will also help this endeavor. This bank used to be very uh, corporate centric. You know, it used to have about 55% corporate, uh, about 45% uh, retail. I think we are moving more towards the retail end, whereby even this year alone, I think we are close to 50% uh, consumer or retail already. Uh, uh, but uh, we also are growing our SME side. Uh, so the asset composition of the, the, the bank is actually growing. 
Because of its small size, Afin will also have more freedom to tailor its offerings to retail clients, which is something that the bigger banks are not able to do so. For the first half of 2017, the bank saw its loans books growing by 2.5 percent. The bank is anticipating the full year growth to be in the region of 6 percent. That concludes this afternoon's edition of News on 2. In our top story, Malaysia-Qatar ties unaffected by the ongoing Gulf crisis. We'll be back at S7 for more updates. Till then, I'm Cynthia Marilyn Arthur. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant day.